And welcome back to Gaming with God. I'm your host, Grumpy Old Dude. Episode 30 in our playthrough, The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. We are in the lower section of Drukashti Ruins. some maintenance.
she died hard. She died way hard. I'm questioning whether or not I really want to pursue this any further. Those are both. 
both channel. Made those two totally wasted arrows. Damn it. Try and quit killing the slaves. So I don't see any point in killing them.
out a little bit of light. I don't see a damn thing there. I gave her that lantern. Can't have both. That's problematic. Back to the beginning. It would seem so. Oh, 
cell phone. Let's see what that. That's cork bulb and mesh mirror. Now, what does that do? How good is that? Find restore health one. points per second for eight seconds. the wick wheat did not change the strength of the potion. So that was a waste of grief. So I'm going to go back to the cork bowl brew. We have four. And the marshmallow. Marshmallow. health one. That's it. Okay, now let's put the bow back in place. Okay, we got that. Okay, good, good. Now we're going to head back over to Coon and up to Soul's time. As soon as this quits jumping around.
Oh, fell right into the rock. That one's gone. Never fear. There's another one right there to replace it. Passage. And there's another quick break. They really do get old, don't they? This is that shipwreck we were at earlier. Okay. I do wish there were a better way to sort, or there were a way to sort this stuff. But there isn't. Maybe I'll look to see if somebody's written a mod to do that. Peacemaker? Where the hell did my mage staff go? The one that's got the uh, levitate on it. Yeah. Up and over we go. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Tell me to get rid of the moon sugar, is he? Yep. No worries. I won't. Looks like I'd left moon sugar here before. <laughs> Oops. Now we have Buku more moon sugar. There. How much money do you have? 1,200. Okay. Here. 
that's cool. And hoard buy that off. Yeah, you can't afford to buy those either. Forty-four thousand. No. Nope. Got a whole bunch of stuff there. He can't afford to buy. Here we go. Now we're shucking a little weight. There you go. And I was more interested in shucking weight than getting every possible gold coin profit out of the deal. I took every coin he had and dropped my weight down to 3,700. Okay. Yeah, I need the docks again. We can take the boat to Solstein. There we go. Travel. Or cross ma. And now we are back at the fort. Seems to me there was a trader or two in here. Maybe I can shuck some more weight. Something, friend. A couple guards. Oh, rats! That's just where I came in. Those are adjoining sections. Okay. Buy stuff? Anything I can do for you? Nope. My protege Marisa left the shrine over a month ago for each forsaken and frozen waste. Her challenge was to bring the word of the imperial cult of the local savages. She hasn't returned. I fear the worst. What else would you call them? They're hardly civilized with all that beer and wolf worship. 
and they hardly even recognize the nine divines. Most Nords are too busy worshiping heathen gods like Alduin and Orki. That's why Marissa's missionary work is so important. She has a passion for preaching. She thought she could be most affected by spreading the tenets of the cult to the residents of Solstein. It's dangerous but necessary work. Her journeys to the wild have been very successful in the past, but she never returned from her last outing. I fear something terrible has happened. I, I don't suppose you would be willing to look for Marissa. She means a great deal to me. That is, she, her work. Yeah, yeah, her work, her work. Yeah, that's yeah, it's her work. Very important to the Imperial cult. You have the look of an adventurer about you, Juliana. If you would find Marissa and return her to me, I would gladly empty the shrine's coffers into your purse. She left here over a month ago and headed north toward Lake Fjalding. You should begin your search in that area. Yeah. And he doesn't buy squat. Neither does Antonius. Lino, Faustus, and the armory, he'll repair your weapons or sell you a new one. I'm listening. What do you want? Go see Cap Curious if you're looking for something to do. Uh. Oh, he won't he won't even talk to me. So I said, where's the money in that? Yes, Redguard. Uh, they won't talk to me either. Okay. No, no, no. Not the side. The bow. Five, maybe. Eight, H eighty nine. Okay. Let's go this. Let's go left. Left shoulder to the wall, right? Let's sneak. Ooh, there's more there.
There was a pack of them. up on you, you're in trouble. As much trouble as I go looking for, I really don't intend to have it find me. I want to find it. There is a difference. It's subtle. Speaking of bears... That time it dropped it. bear. Grizzly bears are big, bad bears. I don't know how bad they are in this game, but in reality, there is no way in hell I'd go grizzly hunting with a bow and arrow. Maybe with a howitzer, a tank. some damn bow and arrow. Promise you.
Let's see what you're made of. Okay. Smuggler, that's why you took exception to my being there. You should run now. Okay, so there are more of you here, huh? Smuggle that! Hell, greet your soul, Jim. I did last time. Oh, lucky me. Thank you. Oh. This is Hollybush, not Grizzly Bear. Okay. Damn, now I've lost my bow again. Ah! <sighs> 
What? <sighs> okay, the Spriggan doesn't stay dead. Do you have to kill it with fire or something? I don't... Um... Got stuff that does fire. There we go. Kill him three times. Apparently, he gets. That's a little unnerving. This is a good time to call it a break here. Call this episode a wrap. Click that like button, hit subscribe. Comment down below and share your thoughts if you would, please. Page 90. come back for the next episode, we will resume right here and continue our exploration of the island of Solstice. Take care of yourselves, folks. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, you know what's coming. Till we see each other again, stay the hell off my front yard. Thanks a lot, everyone. I appreciate your time. You take the time to watch these. Do take care. Bye-bye.